What if you want to host your Axia website on your own server? For that, you need to export the HTML files. We go up to Publish in the menu and you choose Generate HTML Files. It's very similar to publishing to Axia Cloud. However, you don't have the option for commenting. You can open the browser after publishing. So let's go and find a folder to save it in. Um, I'm going to create a new folder, DCO2004 test. It needs to be in a new folder. Don't save it with other files. You will never find which files you need to upload and which ones you don't. So I'll click OK. And just like Axio Share, you can choose which pages to generate. You can choose if you want to include notes. Um, if you have weird things happening with it showing cases on the screen. You can have never show case names. And this is your last chance to ensure you have added all the web fonts you need and you have mapped each one of those fonts. Uh, remember, test your web fonts on another device that doesn't have the font installed on it to make sure it works. Otherwise, it will revert to a default font, which will not be your intended design. I click on publish locally. Okay, let's go and see what these files look like. So you can see it generates um, quite a few files for something that only has three pages. And you can see we've got JavaScript, we've got CSS, we've got all sorts of other resources are being um, generated from this. They're all required for it to work. So you'll notice um, perhaps if you're on a Mac, I'm not sure about PCs, if I click on start.html, it tells me to view locally stored projects in Safari, you need to disable local file restrictions. Um, so Safari preferences advanced, let's give that a go. Um, preferences, where's advanced, here we are. Uh, what else do we need to do? Show develop menu in the menu bar. Okay, so that hopefully will make sure we can do that. Okay, develop. Sorry, I should read the instructions first. Uh, develop, disable local file restrictions. There we go. Okay, so we can view it now. So you notice that, I'm just going to jump back to the finder. If I click on start, we have that grey bar at the top that we have in Axia Share um, and Axia Cloud. But you see we don't have the option for comments. We've got documentation, which is our notes. Um, you can show hotspots or note markers. You can also change the scale and you have your navigation. So that's all well and good. If you upload all of these files, um, you will perhaps open with that. Now, this is why, though, I always change my home page to index, all lower case, because Axia generates each of the pages as the page name with .html at the end. So if I upload this to my web server, um, you don't have to upload these start ones. You can decide to delete those or not upload them. If I upload the rest of it, however, the default page that my uh, browser is going to open on the server is index.html. Double click on that and there we go. We have our final website without that bar at the top. So it looks like a final website. Now, just a note uh, that Axia is not designed to generate proper final websites. It is a prototyping tool. It is supposed to go to a development team after you finish the prototype so that they can code it because as you've seen with all of these extra files, there's a lot of unnecessary information that is included when you generate out of a prototype uh, prototyping tool and that's the same across the board with any drag and drop tool like Muse was even worse if anything. Um, so bear in mind it's not supposed to generate final websites but at a pinch you certainly can make your prototype look like a final website. So one last note Make sure if you upload this to your web host, 
you upload all of the pages and their component files. The only ones that are purely optional are these start ones. You don't really need those, but you do need all of these folders and you need the files within those folders for your website to work, even if you've only got three very simple pages. So you would select all of these and for a final website that needs to be opened on the domain, such as you know mywebsites.com, you would drag all of those files directly into the public underscore HTML or the root folder. If you wanted it to be viewed on a subfolder, such as mydomain.com forward slash axia test, you would select the whole folder and drag that up. But that would put it in a subfolder on your server. Um, so you would not see that when you type in mydomain.com. So just remember, if you want to see it on your main website, these folders and files need to go directly into public underscore HTML.